I'm gonna just leave this here in case Celsius wants to sponsor you, girl. Hey girl gang, welcome back to the channel. I hope this video finds you really, really well. So today I want to talk about how to handle being triggered while dating, okay? Got the dating videos going and I see that y'all like them. So we're just gonna keep them going because there's so many, there's so many things that I could talk about when it comes to dating. With all that being said, <laughs> Let's get into this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you deal with triggers while dating, okay? Because I know they come up. I know insecurities come up. I know the ego be, be fighting, okay? Because mine does, for sure. So let me know how you handle it, and let's just jump into this video. So a trigger is anything that sparks like an emotional reaction out of you, right? And it's normally a negative thing. Of course you can be triggered for good things, but today we're gonna be focusing on the negative triggers. But I feel like even though it's negative, I wanna kind of shift your perspective a little bit because although it's uncomfortable and no one likes to get triggered, it really does help us learn and grow. Let's just get into these solutions or my little tips on how to handle being triggered while dating. Okay, so the first thing that is so important is to name it or recognize it. If we don't take a step back and look at it and say, hey, what is this? How are we ever gonna work through it? And I know for me, it's hard for me to find the right words or express my feelings a lot of the time. So I actually have like a little chart that I keep in my phone. I feel unloved, I feel disrespected, I feel all of these different things. So that way when something comes up, when you feel triggered, you can then name it, identify it. And that way you can better work through it. So that is definitely the first step for me. And then along with that, the next step would be to seek the source or trace the root of it, right? So if I feel unheard in this moment, I can then figure out, okay, I'm feeling unheard right now. Let me figure out why that is. Is it because this person really isn't hearing me or am I being triggered for, from something in the past, right? Oh, maybe I am being triggered. Maybe my ex used to do this and it made me feel unheard. And so while dating this person, now I'm feeling unheard. Is it intentional would be my next question. Is this person intentionally trying to make me feel this way or is it accidental, right? And that's where communication comes into play. And I feel like a lot of the time while dating, we don't feel as comfortable communicating, right? Especially our own feelings, thoughts, emotions, and needs. And so that's where a lot of us kind of go wrong is we get triggered in all of these different ways, whether it was from childhood or a past relationship or life in general. And then we don't talk about it. We don't express it. So that person doesn't even know that they triggered you, right? And so that's why recognizing it and tracing the root is so vital and being able to communicate those things. If you are not comfortable enough to communicate your wants and needs to someone you're dating, that can be a really dangerous place to be in. And so with that, I wanna encourage you to own your feelings, right? No one should make you feel like what you're feeling is invalid because that's gaslighting. No one can tell you what to feel or how to feel it. But I think it's so important to practice knowing and showing how you feel, especially in moments of uncertainty and uncomfortability because while you're dating, dating should be fun, right? You should want to have fun with that person and get to know that person. You shouldn't feel triggered and uncomfortable talking about things and all of these negative emotions. 
And of course, with that, I always urge everyone to trust their own gut and their own intuition because, you know, not everyone has good intentions. Some people could say, oh, it was an accident, but it really is not, or they continue to trigger you in the same way. So you just really have to trust your own gut and instinct and you know on the flip side you have to make sure that you're not projecting any of your insecurities onto other people a lot of the time we get triggered from things and instead of healing them and working through them and communicating we just decide to project things onto other people so i definitely want you to be aware of that too the next thing that i want to mention is to work on short-term and long-term healing okay short-term healing can look like taking a moment to meditate or to breathe or to ground yourself. Long-term healing can look like seeking therapy or professional help or working on healing your inner child uh, on a weekly basis, on a long-term basis, right? Doing all of these different things so that when you are triggered, you do not let that stop you. You don't let it take over you know your life essentially because sometimes triggers can be that detrimental so i would definitely recommend like saying affirmations and figuring out what coping strategies will work for you on a long-term basis something i always advise is to be present to practice presence because in this present moment everything is fine anxiety depression all of these things happen when we worry right when we are too focused on the past or the present or whatever the case is and so being triggered is the same way so when you're triggered i just advise you to bring it back to the present focus on what's happening now what's in your control and don't take anything personal at the end of the day even if you're dating someone even if they trigger you unintentionally or intentionally whatever the case is don't take it personal because the way that people treat you is really a reflection of them right so if they are not treating you the way that you deserve to be treated you have to make the decision to leave okay so say this affirmation with me I forgive the past I live in the present and I am optimistic for the future take care of your mind body and your spirit and I will see you in the next video I love you so so much bye